Thank you for choosing the Dexas Nomad Pro 2 as your x-ray solution. The purpose of this video is to familiarize you with the Nomad. This video covers how to operate the Nomad, along with techniques for safe handling. We recommend all staff view this video and read the manual in its entirety before using the Nomad. Under some jurisdictions, the successful completion of this training is required before using the Nomad. To determine the charged level of your rechargeable handset, your handset must not be connected to your Nomad unit. While looking at the top of the handset, squeeze and hold the trigger. It is recommended to plug in the charging cradle away from the patient environment. When plugging in the charging cradle, the bars will flash red three times and the green circle will illuminate when the charging cradle is receiving power. To connect your rechargeable handset to the charging cradle, align the handset with the tracks on the charger. Slide the battery handset onto the charger until it is fully seated. The bars on the charger will indicate that charging is in process. When fully charged, all three green bars will illuminate. To attach the handset to the Nomad, place the face panel down on a solid surface. Support the Nomad with one hand. With the other hand, align and carefully slide the charged handset onto the base of the Nomad. The handset should click into place with firm pressure. Now that you have attached the handset, press the power button. The display panel will illuminate. The battery level icon is in the upper right corner. Five bars are an indication of a fully charged battery. If the battery is too low, the Nomad will not emit x-rays and the recharge handset message will display. If the handset is not fully engaged, you will see a handset failure alarm message. When the battery level is depleted to a single bar, we recommend the battery be recharged. As a security measure, the X-ray feature on the Nomad can be disabled or locked when not in use or when stored at the end of the day. You can lock the ability to trigger an X-ray by pressing and holding down the select button and then pressing the patient button. The device will change into an X-ray's locked state. Repeat this process to unlock the X-ray. While in a locked state, you have access to all features of the Nomad, you just won't be able to trigger an X-ray. With the X-rays locked, you can program the exposure settings. Note, the factory settings are intended as a starting point. When the power is turned off or the battery is removed, the time settings will revert to the most recent saved settings. By pressing the patient button, you can toggle between adult and child patient types. Notice the exposure time factor changes between adult and child. This is to accommodate people of different sizes. By pressing the image receptor button, you can select film, phosphor plate, or digital sensor. As you press the button, it toggles through the receptor types and auto-adjusts the exposure time accordingly. By pressing the tooth group button, you can select the image representing either the anterior periapical, posterior periapical, or bite wing radiographs. Once again, the time setting adjusts accordingly. In addition, the increase or decrease buttons may be used to further adjust the exposure time. When you've selected your desired settings and exposure time, press and release the select button to activate the save menu. Select yes by selecting the increase button or no by selecting the decrease button. Press the select button to choose OK. Once saved, this change will be saved until it is overwritten or until the factory default settings are restored through the reset default menu items. This change will stay in effect even if the device is turned off or the battery is removed. To access the main menu, press and hold down the select button for three seconds. When the main menu appears, you can select the desired menu items by pressing the increase and decrease buttons to scroll up or down. When the desired menu item is highlighted, press the select button to select the item. With each menu item, there are options which are selected using the increase and decrease buttons. Once the selection is made, the select button confirms the choice. To exit the main menu, highlight exit at the bottom of the list and press the select button or power the device off and on. Before preparing the Nomad, you should properly position and protect both the patient and operator. Press and release the trigger once to ready the device. The device will briefly display an enabling X-rays message before indicating ready. You will know when the Nomad is prepared to fire X-rays when the green LED illuminates. The ready message appears on the display, and you will hear a double tone alert. The ready state continues until an exposure is detected, 
or timeout occurs. After 15 seconds of inactivity, this is accompanied by a double tone and a return to the settings mode. As a safety precaution, if the trigger is held longer than one second while still in the enabling X-ray state, the device will not transition to the ready state. The ready state will also fail if the trigger is pulled a second time while in the enabling X-ray state. This is to prevent the accidental activation of the device by unintended triggering. Note, while the device is in the ready state, any changes to the settings made by pressing any user interface panel button will interrupt the ready state. To begin the exposure, with the system in the ready state, press and hold the trigger. During the exposure, the ready message is replaced by X-ray on. The green LED is replaced with a yellow LED and there is an alert tone for the duration of the exposure. To ensure a complete exposure, keep the trigger depressed until the audible tone completes. The yellow LED turns off, an X-ray complete message briefly displays, and the screen returns to the settings mode. If you release the trigger before the X-ray completes, the display will indicate incomplete. This means the trigger was not held for the appropriate amount of time, and the exposure was not completed. To clear the incomplete message, press any button or power the Nomad off and on. To power off the Nomad, press and release the power button. The Nomad will automatically turn off after approximately 3 minutes of inactivity. It is recommended to disinfect the exterior surface of the Nomad and handset in between each patient. The recommended disinfectant wipe for the Nomad are cavi wipes. Do not use cleaners intended for use on hard surfaces since certain chemical combinations may deteriorate the Nomad plastic. You may also spray cavicide solution onto a towel to wipe down the Nomad. Make certain the towel is not oversaturated to ensure that moisture does not seep into the Nomad, potentially damaging the electronics. Do not spray disinfectant or cleaners directly on the Nomad battery, handsets, charging cradle, or AC power supply. If you wish, you may use an anti-contamination bag which is placed over the device prior to use. Thank you for watching. For more information about the Dexas Nomad Pro 2, please visit our website at dexas.com.